Two suits, two tokens in hand. I got no respect cause I'm the new man. Got my shovel, shoes full of sand. Check out the tag, the name's caveman, uh. Jen insulted me previously when I was singing. I that. did not, I commented. I still remember that. A R M P I to the T. What is that you smell in? Dog, that's me. I remember it all. This is great. Today we're watching, you guessed it, Holes. This one has been a long time coming. I love this movie. I read this book as a kid. It's based off a book. I did a little presentation in fourth grade. There's a picture that I probably can't find of me in fourth grade holding a little uh, poster board with holes and I drew like God's thumb, which we'll find out from the movie. Love this one. One of the reasons that I have been prolonging doing this one is I have been trying desperately to get Cleo Thomas to make an appearance in this video. Cleo Thomas plays Zero in Holes. He's also a fellow YouTuber. My people have been trying to get in contact with his people. By my people, I mean me. And by trying to get in contact with, I mean emailing. And uh, so far, uh, that has not happened. And I have, I've even commented on some of his videos too. Like, hey man, reach out to me, I'd love to. No, we were able to get Greg Sestero, who played Mark in the room, to be in a video with us. I would love to do more of that, getting people that were in the movies for watching. So Cleo, if you see this down the line, not too late, man, we can still get together. Jen, I know that you're not super familiar with this movie. It stars Shia LaBeouf. This is when Shia was beginning to kind of get into more mainstream Hollywood movies. This is still Disney, but he did a movie called True Confessions on Disney Channel. He played uh, a guy with mental deficits, I'll say, and he killed it. I remember, I remember watching that movie, a Disney Channel original movie, and being like, whoa, Shia can like really act. Then he's in this, then he goes on to do iRobot, and then from there, Transformers, and so on and so forth. I'm really excited for you to watch this one. Jen, what do you know about Holes, and how are you feeling going into it? I have never actually heard of this movie before Holden mentioned it. So I don't know anything, but it has Shia LaBeouf, and despite some of the stuff I've heard about his personal life. I think that he's a good actor. So I'm very curious what this movie is about because the title is Hole. So, and the thumbnail looks like they're digging a hole. So <laughs> I can't imagine like, you know what? I'm going into it with an open mind, excited to check it out. The movie has John Voight in it, and he teams up again with Shia LaBeouf in Transformers uh, several years later. Sigourney Weaver. Jen and I have kind of talked about this. We've talked about the, the movie slates that are coming out in 2024 and how like a majority of them are not original IPs, they're sequels or based on books. And I know this is based on a book too, but there's something about it just being kind of its own thing. It's not part of a large universe. It's not sequel after sequel and prequel after prequel. It was based on a book, adapted, and that's kind of it. And we don't really get a whole lot of those one-off, just independently good movies and whatnot really anymore. So in an instance like this, where this is just it, you either like it or you don't, um, I, I enjoy that. I could gush about this movie. I, I'm obviously, I'm not hiding how I feel about it. I really like it a lot. I'm happy to go into it without you knowing anything plot-wise, story-wise, and just experiencing holes the way it was meant to be experienced on TV in a movie, anyway. Oh, before we get into it, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from when we did Transformers, from Crimson Knight, who said, you have to watch Shia and Fury. That is such a good movie. That's actually one I wouldn't mind watching too. He's in that with John Bernthal and Brad Pitt too, but he and John Bernthal did a podcast not too long ago, because Shia LaBeouf's kind of been on his own spiritual journey for a little while. He was just baptized recently, so I'm super supportive of you and your spiritual journey, Shia. All the best to you. But anyway, yeah, Fury is a great film. Uh, or the classic Holes. So we're watching Holes today. Thank you so much for that comment of the day. If you want your comment featured in a comment of the day, leave us a comment down below. We'll check those out for now. Let's go ahead and get into it. Holes. Dig it on, on, on. Are you singing stuff in the movie or are you just singing uh, weird stuff? I'm just singing weird stuff. I caught that. <laughs> 2003. Right between Spider-Man 1 and 2. I gauge the I, timeline I, of everything. I got you, babe. Yeah, I thought it was odd that I had you rapping in our kitchen. Yeah, you should see me at Christmas. Oh. Rapping. Barf bag? Mm -hmm. Not even a minute in and I'm so confused. Don't worry, they'll, they'll explain everything. Mmm. Yeah, this ain't funny, dog. Stop playing. Get back. Barf back for real. Barf back. Ah! All right. 
Urshaya. My grandpa, San Leonas II, says it's all because of this 150-year-old. Oh my gosh, it's you. Yeah, I know you were gonna say something. I really believe in the family curse, but when things go wrong, it kind of helps if you can blame it on something. Whether it's not a family curse, or you're the start of the family curse. Probably. So, did you steal those shoes? Oh, sorry, I didn't do anything. Where'd you get those shoes? What's your name, boy? I'm Stanley. My father, Stan Leonas III, is an inventor trying to find a cure for foot odor. <laughs> for foot odor? No, she was hey. a man in black. Yeah. yeah. Your skin's hanging off your bones. <laughs> Could I just smell your shoe? How about if you take your shoe off? <laughs> if you take your shoe off, then. How do you know that's not mine? <laughs> Which bed is yours? My man. It's all because of your no good, dirty, rotten, pig stealing great great grandfather. There's no curse on this family. Stanley Yelnats, please rise. <laughs> Stanley Yelnats, the fourth. <laughs> 18 months, Camp Green Lake, son. Wow. That's a lot of holes. Oh, I know that mouth anywhere. <laughs> my name is Mr. Sir. Whenever you speak to me, you will call me by my name. Thanks. You thirsty, Stanley? Better get used to it. You're going to be thirsty for the next 18 months. Look around, you yelling. That's what do you see? Any guard towers? You want to run away? Go ahead, start running. I won't stop you. This here's for yellow spotted lizards. I wouldn't waste a bullet on you. We got the only water for a hundred miles. Them buzzards will pick you clean by the end of the third day. Good gosh. You were to dig one hole each day. Five foot deep, five foot in diameter. Rattlesnakes. You don't bother them, they won't bother you. You don't want to get bit by a yellow spotted lizard. He will die a slow and painful death. You may have done some bad things, but that does not... Oh, I recognize that guy. I respect you, Stanley. <laughs> I love this guy. I'm Dr. Pendanski, your counselor. I also hate him. Do not upset the warden. Yeah, he seemed kind of... Oh, Mr. Sir? Oh, he's not the warden. So what's happening with Bart Oh, uh, Lewis won't be returning. Hey. Yo, my name is X-Ray, and that's Squid. That's Armpit. Him? Welcome to your new home, Stanley. Uh. And this is Zero. You want to know why they call him Zero? Because there's nothing going on in his stupid little head. My name is not Theodore. Oh, no. It's Armpit. Thanks, Armpit. <laughs> man, what up? So what'd they get you for? Stealing a pair of shoes. <laughs> Clyde Livingston shoes. Sweepy. What? Man, you did not... They have red X's on them? You got zero to talk. And yo, what else can you do, zero? Hey, and these shoes just fell out of the sky? Yeah, as far as we know, yeah. I don't understand what type of person steals from homeless children. What about your father? He wasn't so unlucky. You told me he made a fortune in the stock market. He was robbed by kissing Kate Ball. Give me your loot. Left him stranded in the desert. Come on, boys, let's ride. No water, no food for 16 days. Okay, come and get it. Let's go. Says a library. Open that paper. <laughs> it's reality. Oh. Smaller shovel, smaller hole. Oh, there's the camera shadow. I never noticed that before. It looked like it? just like a tortilla, tortilla folded over with some syrup. Yeah. Now, if you find anything interesting, you are to report it. I'm supposed to be looking for Mrs. Sir. You're not looking for anything. You're building character. Digging holes for no reason? Who's to say? <laughs> One down, 10 million to go. <sighs> Can you throw that another pile or something? Because it keeps getting in my hole. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> it was all because of your no good, dirty, rotten, big stealing great great grandfather. You should go to America. That's where my son is. I'd like your permission to marry your daughter. So far, his fat is big for her. What do you got? A heart full of love. I'd rather have a fat pig. <laughs> I'd rather have a fat pig. <laughs> oh, look at his little piggy. Oh, my goodness. Every day, the pig will get fatter. Carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain. You forget to come back for Madame Zeroni. The family will be cursed for always and eternity. That's Latvia. Pyra! 
Who do you choose? You want me to decide? Which pig weighs more? They are the same. I will think of a number between one and ten. Oh, wow. That's not <laughs> everyone, how I thought that was going to go. Everyone wins. Uh-oh. So that's why they're cursed? He forgot to go back for her. Always and eternity. <laughs> Don't move. Oh. John Boyd is always like unhinged I know. in movies. It's the best. He was crazy in Anaconda. Oh yeah, the face he makes. <laughs> what color was its blood? He ain't digging for no lizards. What are we digging for, that man? Like, we digging to build some character. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the person go to the bathroom around here? Man, pick a hole any hole. Yeah. Smells like puke from a mule been ruminating on asparagus for two weeks. <laughs> oh, you miss your mommy and daddy. Well, I don't want them to worry. They don't care. Found something. It's a fossil. You see that? Well, that's interesting. Do I get the day off? If I found something interesting, I get the day off. The warden isn't interested in fossils. Is she? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? It looked like those caves. There's me. <laughs> Guess there really was a lake out here once, right? It was a town, too. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. There's Dee Dee Blanchard. Those peaches are the work of an angel. I like peaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Who is that actor? I forget. Have I forget we seen him in someone else? I think so. Say to me. Oh. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 you think you're better than all this? I like digging holes. Then you're in the right place for it. I feel so sorry for the old lady who lived in the shoe, because it must have smelled real bad. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, just something my mom wrote. I, I feel really awkward with you reading over my shoulder like that, so. I can't read. Can you teach me? Aww. Hey, look, a cloud. Maybe it'll move in front of the sun. Come on, little clown. Hey, X. I think I might have found something. KB. Let me That's see what it. it is. Let me see it. Maybe I get the rest of the day off. The rest of the day off? No, no, your, your hole's already dug. Is that Shaggy sing that angel song? Oh, I don't know. The only Shaggy I know is from. Oh, I just know from Scooby Doo. That's the only Shaggy. No. Gold, golden Bullet or something, doesn't it? I think we got something. We got something nice. We got something nice. Yeah. Oh, this is Moby. It's a Gorns. This where you found it? Yes, ma'am. Drive x-ray back to camp. Fill everyone's canteen. I already filled them. <laughs> Did I ask you when you last filled them? Caveman, you come over here, please. Can you hear the empty spaces? Yes, I can hear. We're gonna dig this dirt twice. Y'all be good out here. <laughs> you see this is a special day. I got a good feeling about today. Hey, how she know my name, huh? Oh, she's got the whole place wired. Little tiny microphones and cameras all over the place. In this kingdom, by the sea, what we loved. With a love that was more than love. I and my Annabelle Lee. Sam. My daddy owns the lake. <laughs> Ew. Take a ride on my motorboat. No, thank you, Mr. Walker. No, no one ever says no to try Walker. Route. Uh, I believe I just did. <laughs> Stupid desk. Yeah. Come on, boy. Are you trying to be funny? Your little joke just cost you a week of shower privileges. Oh, oh man. Man. All right. <laughs> Those look like a nice schoolhouse. 
Oh. I can fix that. Oh my. Oh. Dule. Where you coming? Trout's gonna be mad. Trout. Oh no, trout. <laughs> Probably ain't nothing down there. We found it by now. I wouldn't tell the queen bee that. I ain't on stupid pills. <laughs> what are you going about? Jeez. Oh no. Dang it, trout. That's not right. Come quick, they're destroying the school. Oh, uh, Sheriff. Give me a kiss. Kiss the onion picker. Get drunk. I always get drunk before hanging. I kissed him back. It ain't against the law for you to kiss him. Ew. Oh, no. Killed his horse. <gasps> and lit his cart on fire. Oh. Pretty dark for a Disney film. <gasps> Can't fix that though. Oh, damn. Returning to the digging of individual holes. Let's go, let's go. Individual holes. You still want that kiss? Uh. All right. Say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sir. Don't get your hopes up. The storms never make it past the mountains. There. Maybe this time they will. Once upon a time, there was a magical place where it never rained. The end. <laughs> Anybody want some sunflower seeds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take some of those. Woo. Hey, Zig, come on, man. Just coming back. Oh, 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 no. No, no, no. How did that get there? Did it fall from the sky? I stole it out of your truck. I think maybe the warden liked to see what you found. What are you doing, dog? Caveman. See what turns up. Found a little something in caveman's hole. What is it? Tell her. I snuck into his truck and uh, stole his sunflower seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Would you uh, kindly bring me that little brass case? I don't miss much, as you well know. That, was this just an excuse to like, talk to her? See this caveman? My special nail polish. You want to know my secret ingredient? Rattlesnake venom. It's perfectly harmless. When it's dry. I think he's covering for X-ray or somebody. I will check it. Ah! Uh, is she the descendant of Catherine? Right, you'll see. You go back to your hole now. What's she do to you? Nothing. What is this? Thank you, guys. Don't look at us. Yeah, it was zero. You can steal the sunflower seeds. Yeah, but neither did you. You didn't steal the shoes. You still want to learn to read? <laughs> Go ahead. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, all sorts of laws are being broken. This is crazy. <laughs> Why does he stand like that? <laughs> Mr. Sir is a very sensitive man. <laughs> <laughs> you thirsty, Elliot? Yes, Mr. Sir. Oh, no. There, that should hold you. I mean, she can die. The tube, it was a tube of lipstick. It stands for Kate Barlow. Who's she killing, though? It's like robbing people and stuff. Like innocent people, or? I, th I mean, I don't know. This has to go out like this. That's an R. Okay. okay, this one's easy. My name's Hector. Hector Zeroni. So we can do five letters a day for four days. He's related to the psychic or whatever? Zeroni, maybe. Who's to say? Are you okay, man? So they're all like related everything, to these people? Everything ties together. My mom had problems, but she would try so hard that one day she didn't come back. What happened to her? I don't know. 
That's what bothers me the most. I used to go to Laney Park all the time. I used to sleep in the tunnel next to the swinging bridge. Ew. Eat the cookie. Oh. Uh. oh. Doc, go on, Stanley. Teach him a lesson. Hit him back. Yeah, teach me yes, a lesson. Oh. 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 Uh, Mr. Pendansky. Basically, Zero almost killed Ricky. Basically. <laughs> caveman digs his hole just like everyone else. Zero's been digging a part of Caveman's hole every day. I'm teaching him how to read. He's a smart kid. Smart? He's so stupid, he doesn't even know he's stupid. Okay. So why are you digging holes? Because it's good for you. Well, why can't I still just dig my hole and teach him how to read? Because I said so. Causes his brain too much of a challenge. That's what made his blood boil, not the Jesus hot sun. Go take it. It's all you'll ever be good for. Mm. Oh. Oh. I mean, good for him. <laughs> Go, Zero! Go! Last thing we need is an investigation. I know that. <laughs> Round the clock guards on all water sources. <laughs> Are we sure that he had no family? He was a ward of the state. Destroy his records. He was never here. No one cares about Hector Zeroni. I do. Oh. Blood's on your hands, Em. Zero's buzzard food. You know what? Oh. No water, no food for 16 days. And who's this guy, their, their great grandfather? Yeah, Stanley Yelnas, the first. Zero! Real little kid. First hole's the hardest. He's went. Yes. Jump out Gentlemen, there's only one law around here, and that is. <laughs> Don't destruct you, I'm telling you. <laughs> this man is never in control. <laughs> bye bye, Kevin. Oh no. <laughs> you done it now. You done it now. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no yelling at the fifth. <laughs> Whoa. Not for me. In two weeks, we'll report he's run away. There'll be nothing left to find. That's exactly right. Peace. Zero? Huh? I thought you were gone. I was. Let me see. You know the water truck? I drove it into a hole. Figures. <laughs> Drink it, it's good. What is that, alcohol? Tastes like peaches. How many of these you got left? Oh. That's the last one. Put your bag, put this in, then we'll go. I'm not going back. You will die out here. What's Mary Yellow? See? Oh, it's Mary Lou. You know, my great grandpa almost died out here. Really? They say he survived because he made it to the top of God's thumb. Imagine how fine his Mary Lou probably looked in a bikini. Oh! It was a horse. Oh, no. oh boy. Oh no. This isn't cool. Ugh. All right, hold on. These two would be so dehydrated, it's not even funny. Yeah, that sploosh is going to get them through so long. Mm. <coughs> Almost there, come on. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zero. Oh. All right, hold on. Hold on, let me get in front of you. Stanley. I gotta tell you something. What? Zero, zero. No, they're not gonna kill him off. This is a Disney zero. film. Disney films killed off Bambi's mom. That's right, you know. Hope you weren't too attached to Zero. Zeroni up the mountain. And no, they wouldn't. So I can get strong too. Oh, so it's gonna break the curse. Knock that stupid face <laughs> off. Water. Yeah, but what's the chance that they would end up at the same camp? Uh, Hector, wake up! Wake up! And are you that sure water that's water? Too... <laughs> right? Oh. I mean, yeah. desperate times, I get it, but... Y'all are gonna be crapping up a storm a tonight. There's a lot of mud there. We're gonna get a parasite, tapeworm, everything else. What are you doing? Oh, onions. Oh, I love onions. You can try this. I would eat onions like that. Mm-hmm. Take a... 
wolf waits below, hungry and lonely. <laughs> 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 Peaches and onions. That's the secret. I told you I was on the brink of no stink. I'm oh, this like you working on a project. I, I was waiting for something. <laughs> Worked on the garage on something. It's my fault you were sent to Camp Greenlight. I stole the shoes. What? I didn't know there was sweet feets. What? I mean, a lot of people donated um, all their old stuff. Nobody's watching those. Next thing I know, everyone's bugging out. The shoes are gone, the shoes are gone. Where are the shoes? Walking down the street and I heard the sirens coming after me. <laughs> so while his court case was going on, he was sent to the camp. But why was he sent to the camp? He, he just said he didn't have shoes anymore, so he stole another pair and they actually got him. Oh. They're coming for caveman's body. Order. Oh, she was in double jeopardy. <laughs> I'm glad you stole her shoes and threw them on my head. What? I thought I got sent there because of my family's curse. You know, those stars look like a shovel to me. What do you say we dig one more hole? But I feel so cold. I can fix that. Is she hallucinating? You go! <gasps> so tell me where you buried your loot. Aww. Oh. I've been waiting for you, Trout. Trout. Where's the loot? There ain't no loot. Go give me that. Had some rain here since the day they killed Sam. The time I'm finished with you, you gonna wish you was dead. <laughs> Dig for the next 100 years, and you will never find it. Start digging, Trout. I'm coming, Sam. So all these holes are to try and find the money. And they marked it with that rock. Yeah. This is it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. And I gotta go find another shovel. All right, be careful. You Come left on. the keys inside of a truck, juvenile work camp with juvenile. <laughs> Get me a ring. I'm getting it, you sideburn Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked they, they just there's just like stairs now. They did the last shot there was nothing. <laughs> this is it! What I say what I say! Oh. oh thank you boys, you've been a big help. Oh <gasps> get back! Oh, 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 oh. Get in there. Pull it out. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. mm. Hey Stanley, guess what? Your lawyer came by yesterday to get you. Too bad you weren't there. My granddaddy owned the whole lake. Then it dried up. Made me dig too. <gasps> Even on Christmas. This has been memed now. This scene. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! You keep digging! What? Maybe we should just shoot them. The lizards or the kids? <laughs> you don't I just want to know why they haven't been bitten. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. As long as they keep their mouth shut, they won't have to dig any more holes. Go on! <laughs> <laughs> Your last name, your first name spelled backwards. Yeah. Danger! Where's Stanley? I'll tell you. He broke into my cabin about an hour ago. Don't go too close! <gasps> oh my god! This wouldn't have happened if he wasn't a thief. What? Oh, I oh. <gasps> Stanley didn't steal anything! <sighs> it's Stanley's. What are now you listen, doing? Let go. It's red handed. Because I think I'll just take it. It has his name on it. What? Stan Lee Yell. Nets. He can't read. That's not possible. Come on, no, get your hands off. To get your hands out. off. It is you not are your seat. And my <laughs> I can't leave without Hector. Don't worry. We'll take good care of Hector. Uh, Would you please get me Hector's file? Well, certainly, Carla. Just do it. The yellow spot of lizards don't like my onions. There seems to be no file of Hector's. What kind of a camp you running here? A nice one. Yeah. If the state would give us some money, then. <laughs> Look at her looking at him. <laughs> Marion Seville. Oh, crap. Oh. What's he wearing? Oh, 
carrying this weapon. Well, the facility is now under our jurisdiction. What? Boys, let them see they the other side them. of the criminal justice system. Yes. 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 I know, it's so messy. I was actually thinking when the trunk was open and all around. I know. Party. Trying to steal oh. the car. <laughs> we are still family. We, we are the Yale Nets. We are the Yale Nets. Oh my God, honey, you still got it. You are so strong. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's only fair that half of whatever's in this box goes to my best friend, Hector Zerone. Did you say Zerone? Sure did. God, is that really worth $25,000? AT&T. AT&T. <laughs> 1905. Millions. Millions? Millions. Do good, bro. <laughs> Turns out his mom been looking for him, too. Aww. Camp Green Lake was closed, and the boys released for time served and sent to real counselors. <laughs> to my wife, I was known as... Stinky Feet. That's all over now, thanks to Sploosh. I just spray a little on Splash. it. Plus, I like to tingle. Yeah. AB Industries. You have to fill in the rest of the holes yourself. Just finished watching Holes. I love this one. One of the best things about this movie is that everything has a purpose. From the very beginning to the very end, all the little storylines coming together, fitting together so almost perfectly. I love it. Uh, I love Shia LaBeouf as Caveman. I love Zero. I love the whole gang of all the boys. I think that John Voight is absolutely hilarious. Sigourney Weaver was great. Dr. Pendensky was wonderful. Just the whole thing, I think, was was great. Having all these multiple storylines uh, kind of going on at the same time, but serving the greater all story, I think I think is absolutely done masterfully in this. But these are just some of my thoughts. Jen, what did you think of Holes? First, I have to point out that this is in itself a very strange film. Even just in the beginning, the fact that they're just digging holes. And let me point out that this like youth detention camp, very concerning throughout the entire film. Everything that was going on, I'm like, this is straight up child labor, abuse, neglect. But they made light of it in this film. I do like the overlapping stories. Catherine and her finding love and, and losing him, how they're uh, interconnected. I'm still a little lost though, like what is the chance that Zero and Stanley ended up at the same, like their paths cross, I guess. Yeah, well, the opening line of the movie, he's talking about destiny and, you know, the odd, like, you're mentioning, like, what are the odds? I mean, astronomical, but one of the points of the movie is, like, our destiny is written in stone, so it was, like, bound to happen kind of thing. For most of the movie, I was trying to figure out, like, where is this all going? Which was, to be fair, the greatest part. Um, not really knowing, you know, why is that happening? How is that connected to this. John Voight was definitely my favorite. He was a hot mess. I think he was like wearing like pajamas half the time. Um, and like his looks I thought were just so psychotic. <laughs> but um, I really enjoyed him. He was definitely my favorite part of this movie. Loved Zero. I thought he was so great because he was really like the underdog. And I love that he was trying to teach him to read. Just a character like Zero, just from like his stature to the fact that he couldn't read. And so a lot of the kids ostracized him, honestly. Loved the, the rest of the kids or the, the rest of the camp. I thought they were um, fantastic, but in particular, Zero. The comedy was really good in this film too. To be fair, I think a lot of it was John Voight. Storyline was really, like I said, bizarre out there, but I mean that in a positive way. Yeah, I thought it was a good time. What would you rate it? More than anything, I think the story was really interesting. You know, finding out how everything is like interconnected and how these characters know each other. I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with an 8.5. 8.5, very respectable. Uh, I find there are few movies that are as synchronized with the story, with the multiple storylines as this one, where like even something as simple 
or as like just to the side as Stanley teaching Zero how to read. The reason that that became important at all was because Zero is the one that read Stanley Yelnitz's name on the trunk. The whole thing with Sam taking onions and being like this onion guy, and then Kate Barlow doing the peaches, all that came back to the dad trying to invent this thing to stop shoes from stinking or stop feet from stinking. The whole thing with El Elia Yelnitz forgetting to carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain and coming to America and then it being Hector's great-great-great-grandmother and then Stanley carrying him up, breaking the curse, and then it making it rain. It hadn't rained since Sam died, all that. So master class in that regard. For me, I'd give this movie a solid nine, a solid nine, very, very, very strong nine. But of course, these are just some of our thoughts. We'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. We'll check those out. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe, you'll be notified when we post the next video. And check out Patreon. You can watch these videos before anyone else, ad-free until I post them. And you can watch the full-length reaction with us over there too. You'll just need to have access to holes to sync up the footage with us as well. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care, everyone.